Ladies and gentlemen, you've got another bank on the verge of collapsing, PacWest Bank. This bank has lost more than 60% of its shares. And it's all over the place that the shares may cause the next banking collapse. So let's get into this. Los Angeles-based bank holds company PacWest Bancorp is exploring strategic options, including the sale or capital raising, fueling concerns about a possible collapse. This sent shares of the bank as well as several other regional banks, including Western Alliance Bancorp tumbling. According to a report in Reuters, PacWest is hoping to avoid the fate of other regional banks that were taken over by U.S. regulators in the last two months. It aims to proactively find a solution that bolsters its finances, the agency said, quoting sources, PacWest, that has branches in California as well as Durham, North Carolina, and Denver, Colorado, had raised $1.4 billion from investments. Firm, uh, the firm they use is Atlas SP Partners in late March. So Western Alliance subsequently said it had not experienced any unusual deposit flows and had adequate liquidity. It said that it was reaffirming its financial strength as well as its deposit growth guidance in response to recent industry events. Now, they're trying their best to keep this down. And the reason why they know if this makes it out real big, and it is getting bigger because when I went back to look, there are more, um, you know, media that's putting out stories on PacWest right now. So it is exploding. And see, what they're trying to avoid is another bank run or another uh, deposit being transferred from one bank to another. So they don't want to go real big with these stories anymore. These things are happening, y'all, all the time. And they are desperately trying to keep it out of the news because of what happened when SVB, First Republic, and Signature Bank collapsed. It caused all kinds of chaos out here in the public. And people were running, trying to get their money out. First, the Reserve said they weren't going to save these banks. Then ultimately they did, but they took the banks over. And with PacWest, they don't want the U.S. government to take over the banks. So they are desperately trying to see if they can save this. But I don't know, y'all, with their shares down 60%, I don't know if they can do it. I don't know if they can do this. So in Western Alliance, they saw their shares drop 23%. Other regional leaders under pressure also fell. Zion, Bancorp, Comerica, and First Horizon, they all experience a drop in their shares. Now, theirs is not quite as severe as PacWest was earlier. They're at 7%. But they're saying as of now, PacWest stock lost almost 90% of its bank value. So it's definitely another crisis. It's another crisis going on right here. And see, it really hurt a lot of especially small and regional banks when deposits were being moved. And they're afraid this is going to ramp up even more. And it's still going on, y'all. It's still going on with these banks, you know, people shifting their money from one bank to another. That's still happening out here. 
And it's still heavily impacting a lot of these smaller community banks and regional banks. And many of them are trying to figure out how they can get the new customers in. If a story like this really grows out in the press, which it probably will, this will be detrimental to smaller banks. People are not going to trust these banks anymore. So this development comes amid the U.S. regional banking crisis that started with the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank in March. In March, the abrupt closure of Silicon Valley Bank, led by a social media-driven run, started off a regional bank crisis, leading regulators to step in with emergency measures. Last week, First Republic, which was swept up in a bank run, failed and was sold to JP Morgan. Actually, they did a takeover of First Republic Bank in an auction by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corp, the FDIC. All right, so First Republic now officially belonged to J.P. Morgan Chase. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve has uh, raised the interest rates by 25 BPS, and signal it may pause further increases, giving official time to assess bank failures and to cool down persistently high inflation. You know, I think the Federal Reserve actually made things worse for smaller banks every time they raised the interest rates. You know, a bigger bank really can handle it, but the smaller banks, it's really tougher on them. But y'all, this don't look good at all. It don't look good at all. Mm -mm -mm. So U.S. Uh, regional banking crisis, PacWest, is hoping to avoid the fate of other regional lenders that were taken over by U.S. regulators in the last two months. Well, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to pull this off, being that their shares are so low in value now. But y'all, I'll keep an eye on this one. Please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.